Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here for a while and you've been watching my videos, you probably know that I don't do videos like this very often or ever. I don't think I've ever done a vlog before. But anyways, um, this is just another uh, sort of commentary, but instead of doing it over gameplay, I decided to do it in this form because it's sort of a, well not sort of, it is a pretty serious topic and it's something that's been resonating around social media and in the news and stuff a lot lately. Um, it is about the um, the recent incidences that happened in uh, in Ferguson, and um, you know the the killing of Michael Brown, and it ties into obviously you know the Trayvon Martin um, incident, the that case that happened earlier this year, and you know every other case that's similar to it. Um, I find that there is obviously connections between all these these. Um, incidences that have been happening around North America and I just want to talk a little bit about it and sort of give my opinions on why these things are happening and you know I, I, I'm a little confused as to why certain blame is being put and certain words are being used in these articles um, basically my problem is the whole race card being thrown into everything and you know I have my issues with that and I'm going to explain that um, people may disagree with me um, right off the bat I want to just explain that I'm not racist I, I don't have any sort of ill feelings or anything towards any race or gender or anything like that um, I'm a firm believer in equality you know I believe everybody should be treated equally I do my best not to prejudge people and stuff like that but unfortunately there are things in society and in the media and stuff like that you know that clouds our judgment and sort of makes it so we do prejudge people in unfair ways and in biased ways and um you know that's something that just as as human beings we can't help but um as far as you know racism goes i'm not a racist so i just want to get that out there off the bat right now um because some of the stuff i say in this video may come across racist i don't know um i'm, I'm not you know attempting to sound racist in any way whatsoever but it's one of those things where sometimes the truth hurts kind of thing. So if I say something that sound, sounds sort of slanderous against another race, it's not because I feel negatively towards that race or anything like that. It's probably because I'm just stating a fact or, you know, stating a personal experience or something like that. So if you see me looking over the side like this, I got my laptop right here with some notes written down because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. So I wrote a bunch of notes. Um, hopefully I'll get to it all if I don't then you know whatever I just don't want to make this video too too long but anyways I keep seeing news reports regarding this um, you know the Michael Brown shooting um, and our not black man was gunned down by police you know a black man uh, was minding his own business was gunned down by police a harmless black man was shot and killed by police these are the types of things I'm seeing and reading in the in the articles and on the news feeds and, and all that sort of thing and my question is why you know, why does that they have to keep mentioning that he was a black man? The issue is not that he was a black man. The issue is that a police a policeman shot somebody. It doesn't matter if he's a black man or an Asian man or Hispanic, white, Caucasian. Doesn't matter what is that religion, ethnicity, race, doesn't matter what it is. He got shot and died. So I don't understand why there's such a heavy emphasis on the fact that he was black and the same thing happened in the Trayvon Martin case and I was gonna make a video about this earlier this year but I decided not to do it for whatever reason but um, it was the same thing it was you know unarmed black man gunned down and and blah 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 black man black man everybody's pointing out that he was a black man and understand he's a black man and that's that's fine and that's it's sad that he was shot you know nobody deserves to die like that um, but the fact that he's black isn't the reason he got shot. And I think people are throwing the race card into these incidences sort of as a, a sort of a blame factor, I guess you would call it. Whereas they don't really know, you know, they don't want to maybe possibly admit that, you know, Michael Brown was maybe causing trouble, that Michael Brown was maybe, you know, um, wrestling or fighting with the police officer they don't want to admit that because they're all black too in that community it's a primarily black dom dominated community as was Trayvon Martin's community they don't want to you know sit there and admit that 
one of their own was aggressive towards a police officer or disrespectful to an authority. And I know the Trayvon Martin case is different because um, George Zimmerman was not a police officer, so he was not an authority. That's a little different. So I'm going to kind of leave that aside. We're going to focus more on Michael Brown right here. But yeah, the, the people of Ferguson, they don't want to admit that or maybe even accept the, the possibility that Michael Brown may have started this himself. All they want to do is say that a white police officer shot a black man. It's got to be racist. And by, by repeatedly saying in the news that a black man was shot by a white police officer, the race cars being thrown in there. And I think that's entirely unfair. And, you know, I've, I've talked to a few people about this already. And, um, you know, I'm trying to get people's opinions and stuff like that. I don't want to just come sit here and give you guys my opinion because, you know, that's just one opinion. So I'm trying to get, you know, feeds from other people and see what people think and, Racial profiling is something that people keep bringing up to me and how, you know, a high high percentage of people who are profiled by police are, are African-American. And, you know, right off the bat, that, that blatantly sounds unfair. It sounds racist. It sounds, you know, like, like you know, oppression and all that kind of stuff. But the, the hard facts behind it is that there's reasons for it. And you know I'm gonna explain I'm gonna explain this to the best of my ability. And you, some people may agree, some people may disagree, but this is how I see it. I'm a, I'm a realist. I don't you know like to sugarcoat things. I like to keep things you know upfront, blunt, in your face kind of thing. I don't like to beat around the bush. I like to say things how they are. So you know I did some research, and I was looking up you know crime statistics in. Uh, you know, in North America and, you know, the ratios of crime based on race and stuff like that. So I just wanted to see, you know, do police have a reason to target black people, primarily young black men, approximately my age, I'm 30 years old, approximately, you know, between 20 and 30 years old. Do police have a reason to target black men as opposed to other uh, races and genders? And from my research, I would have to say yes, they do have a good reason to do so. So, courtesy of examiner.com, a study was done to find the differences in crime ratio between races and the results were verified by the FBI's National Crime Victimization Survey and the Department of Justice's Uniform Crime Reports. I'm not really sure what that kind of stuff means, but the bottom line is the studies were verified by credible sources so the information i'm about to state is accurate the information was provided um it's i think it was 2009 or 2010 um, that these studies were done but um regardless the um, statistics are pretty much the same year in and year out so whatever i say here is probably pretty close to accurate as to what they are today so black people are more than seven times more likely than people of other races to commit murder. They are eight times more likely than people of other races to commit robbery. Blacks are three times more likely to use a handgun and two times more likely to use a knife. Hispanics commit three times as many violent crimes as white people, but sometimes Hispanics are classified as white, so that number could be much higher. Blacks are 39 times more likely to commit a violent crime against whites than vice versa. And they are 136 times more likely to commit a robbery. 45% of black crime is against white people. 43% is against other blacks and 10% is against Hispanics. So then, I mean, those, those statistics alone kind of paint a picture that, you know, you can't, you, this isn't, this is one of those one bad apple spoils the bunch kind of things. I'm not painting the entire race as violent and that's not what these statistics are doing either. But statistics are there for a reason and that's to kind of give an overall impression, an overall, I don't even know, mindset maybe? I, I really don't know. But the bottom line is statistically, black people commit more crimes than white people. So, 
you know, if you were going to put, you know, a bunch of people in the room, every race of, you know, and different genders, a bunch of people in a room, and you had to just blatantly sit there and guess with no clues and no hints, who's a criminal? Now, it could be anybody. It doesn't matter. It could be anybody in that room. It could be a white guy. It could be a white woman. It could be a Hispanic woman. It could be an Asian guy. doesn't matter. But the chances of you getting this question right, your odds are that it's the black guy. That's just a fact. If you want to get the question right and you have nothing to go by, the odds are your ch the chances of you getting the question right are based on the fact that your chances are the highest with the black guy. That's just a fact. And that's not white people's problem. White people didn't cause that. Hispanic people didn't cause that. Asian people didn't cause that. Black people caused that. Black people did that to themselves. They put themselves in that statistic. And as a race, they make themselves look bad that way by committing crimes like that. And that's nobody's fault but their own. So anyways, the following is information from a book called Suspicion Nation, the inside story of the Trayvon Martin injustice and why we continue to repeat it. So, in a national survey, the majority of whites and African Americans who were asked agreed with the statement, blacks are aggressive or violent. So, the majority of white people and the majority of African American people agreed with that statement, blacks are aggressive or violent. So, you know, people agree with that. That's a pretty weak statement, in my opinion. It's pretty bland. It's pretty, you know, just upfront. Blacks are aggressive or violent, and most people would just agree with that off the bat. That kind of paints a picture, too, that most people just generally view black people as violent or aggressive. And, you know, we got to ask ourselves why. So other research indicates that the public generally associates violent street crimes with African Americans. In one study, 60% of people who viewed a crime story with no pictures of the perpetrator falsely recalled seeing one, and 70% of those believed he was African American. So basically, these people were shown a storyboard of a crime that was committed, and the criminal in the story was never shown or described, and 60% of the people that saw the story recalled seeing a criminal, and 70% of those people said he was a black guy. There was no criminal shown or described whatsoever, yet a high number of people that were surveyed still blamed a black guy for a crime. So, what they're saying is that, you know, it just shows that it's, it's ingrained into our minds that as a, as a society, as an entire society, whether you're white, black, Hispanic, you know, male or female, it... It's ingrained in our mind that blacks are the primary criminals of society. And that is 100% unfair to their race to just, you know, say that about them. But the fact of the matter is they did it to themselves. And I actually watched a, um, I watched a speech, a Bill Cosby speech a while ago. And you could probably find it on YouTube. But Bill Cosby basically says the same things. He says, you know black people did this to themselves they they're oppressing themselves and they're putting a bad name for themselves and and all this sort of stuff and it's a good speech and bill cosby is a bright man there's lots of speeches of bill cosby he touches on the the trayvon martin case and gun violence and you know all that kind of stuff and you can watch all these videos on youtube if you care but um you know you got to ask yourself though like why why do we think this way why do we feel this way you know and, and there's only a few different answers I can come up with personally. You know, there's media, obviously. There's, um, there's entertainment, which is, you know, not necessarily media, but it could be sort of associated. And then there's personal experiences. So, you know, I, speaking of the media thing, I don't feel this way personally, but a lot of people do feel that um, African Americans are painted in sort of a negative light. When it comes to the media and i would sort of disagree with that simply because i see lots of you know white people hispanic people men women all types of criminals in the news um and i don't feel like there's any more black people in the news than there are other races i feel like it's pretty much even um you know like even even a show like cops like i've been watching cops for like fucking 20 years 
and you watch an episode of cops and you'll see a good variety of white criminals black criminals men women you know people with guns people you know with who committed murder people who are drug dealers all this kind of stuff there's a wide variety of criminals they don't just focus on black criminals they don't just try to um you know put put black people on the show to to try to make it like black people are the primary criminals of society so in my opinion media doesn't really convey that message other people believe it but i don't really agree with that um entertainment on the other hand is is huge in my opinion and um specifically things uh that are primarily dominated by african-american culture um such as you know rap music hip-hop rap and those kinds of things 